in my experience with ouchies, this ouchie from that tree wrestling match in South Wales is about a 10 day ouchie, which is not a big deal because it's not gonna stop me from going kayaking, but it is gonna be pretty painful going kayaking while it's healing. One of the things that helps keep me out on the water when I've got a muscle sprain or an injury like this is the CBD muscle rub from 4.5 and I use this stuff and the thermal joint gel and actually almost the entire product range that 4.5 makes and it really makes a difference to me, especially when I'm sore and I'm still trying to get after it. So if you want to pick up any for yourself to help you through those injuries and those niggles, you can use this discount code and the website link is in the video description below. And yeah, that's it. We're ready. Stretching done, muscle rub applied, and yeah, we're in North Wales. Let's get after it. The Fairy Glen is at a perfect level. This section has a reputation in the UK. It's made up of beautiful, clean, challenging rapids, but the rocks are so dirty. You want to stay far away from the walls on this river and try your best to be on it and stick for lines. Not that that happens all of the time for anybody. could spend all day lapping that section and not get bored, but there are lots of other rivers in this neck of the woods and we're trying to show the view as many of them as we can. I've never spent much time at the Glaslin and I don't really know where I'm going, but Joe has spent a lot of time here when he was in uni and is just flying down it. This is such an amazing section to work on your skills and transition from a class three kayaker to a class four kayaker and beyond. Being on the river with David and his camera because he challenges me so often. Sometimes David has an image in his head and I have to do something differently to place myself where he wants me in his photo. 
This is a pretty chill example, but still, you get the idea. I've been boofing next to the wall like Joe does here, but David wants me to go center for the photo over the biggest part of the rapid, and so now I have to make sure that I boof over this piton rock in the center. I love it! I love it! <laughs> Do you think David realises we're doing impressions of him? I think so. I don't know if he he's does, not, man. He's not said, I love it, what? <laughs> he's got it. You run chicken line! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't, so they need the line on this, is fuck it, yeah. I'm <laughs> I fucking love him. Yeah. Oh, truly. I wish we could keep him all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Too busy zipping around taking sick photos everywhere. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> Somehow, because of water levels and the way the, this river drops and I guess just life in general, I always find myself at the start of this river, early in the morning, in the freezing cold and feeling a little bit sleepy. Which is not ideal because this river starts with one of the longest and sickest rapids around. And we're only like halfway down it. <laughs> Come on, show the people what you're eating. Come on. I know we have some cultural differences, but do you know how a sandwich works? You put the you put it inside the two pieces of bread. Jesus. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't that, know. You just have yeah. <laughs> two slices of cheese and half a block of brie. Yeah, but everything's gonna mix anyway, so. <laughs> Right Why waste time? My Why waste hero. time? It all comes out the same way. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how you eat a sandwich. You're a monster. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go back. It is honestly mind-blowing to me that David, on his first short trip to the UK, is getting to kayak down this river, and I'm so stoked that he's getting to experience one of the UK's best. I remember the days All those years ago that never fade away And I remember your face when you hit the ground, I can recall the time and place. On a minute.
midnight walk Through the old streets Trying to turn back the clock To the days of old Back to the days when all the things we knew Were made of gold As the world moves on Time sings a song As it stood Like a quiet dream The shadows of that time Are cast beneath the street light beam As the world moves on Time sings a song Don't cry Don't took that one for granted, I was like, yeah, it's gonna roll, and then I'll go bump, and then it'll just auto-boost me, and uh, was expecting that, so I didn't do anything, and I got nothing, and uh, went deep. Looking back, I can see clearly how we had it made, and I remember every face, and when I think of them, it takes me to that time and place. I've hit this waterfall three times now and uh, this is my first time portaging it and uh, feels weird, feels weird to not be sacking up and sending it but it's a little bit on the high side and I'm in completely the wrong kayak for this thing at this water level but my god what a sick bit of, what a sick bit of, it's not just water, it's rock and water, it's crazy As the world moves on It's hard to do justice to this section and how special it is. It's just one of those things you need to experience to understand. Take any chance you can to kayak down this river. It's always worth it. David has to go back to Europe to do some public speaking about being a badass Czech photographer. The forecast is drying up and I guess, as they say, all good things must come to an end. But what an incredible time in the UK. We got so lucky with water levels every single day. Much love to everyone that let us crash at their house, fed us, went kayaking with us, and helped show David what an amazing kayaking community we have here in the UK. And if the weather is on your side, just how many sick rivers we have here. I can't wait for the next time it rains. Bye. I miss you. So I miss you already. Bye. <laughs> Sending my kayak back to Europe with David. Smart. Ah. Yeah, that's ah? smart. No driving, ah? flying. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you yeah. gonna see? You gonna see why? You gonna see?
Come on, come on, big guy. Give us a give us a recap. Uh, I need to practice more on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and not doing just. <laughs> oh, it was fun, beautiful. But I'm happy. I survived. I survived. <laughs> and I have my kayak. I have my pedal. And I have actually a lot of photos. <laughs> and I'm stoked. And I'm gonna say. Uh, Wales and UK and hopefully Scotland is the best kayaking in Europe. <laughs>